Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I've got another of the DC Multiverse figures to show you. In all honesty it's another figure that I didn't know too much about so I'm going to have to read the old bio card. Um, but it's a character called Ghost Maker. Now the figure looked pretty cool. And in all honesty I picked it up because it was on offer um, when I was picking up some other figures. And I always like to add some cheaper ones to the um, box to make the postage worth it. So um, this is Ghost Maker from DC Future State. So it's not a book I've read or anything like that. You can see him in box there, and you can see him on the rear of the package there. So it is a cool looking figure. So we'll get him out and have a look and um, see what the um, bio card has to say about Ghostmaker. So we'll get the card out first. Card out. And get his stand out. So there you can see Ghost Maker. So it does say on the back of the card. So Bruce Re um, Bruce Wayne, um, while training to become Batman, befriended another student on the path toward justice. The man who would become Ghost Maker, a master in all forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, this sword-wielding vigilante. Has a different deadly approach to justice which often puts him at odds with batman much like the dark knight ghost maker has an array of fabulous weapons and vehicles and he will always strive to prove back to batman that his approach to justice is superior so he is one of the good guys he's not a bad guy but um i think he's a little bit more um lethal should we say than um old batman so he comes with these Twin katana swords. So we will display with these swords. We all do like a good sword. And we'll pop him out of his box. Again, as most of these figures, he's well um, hooked in, but a bit pulling. I always get some um, annoying um, cables out. So that's quite good. You have got um, some holsters for the swords. So we'll pop them in there just to, for display because it does take a little bit of space, these. Um, these swords, so the swords quite nicely pop in the holster at the back of him. He's got one of these really big rubberized capes on him, um, and then he's got this helmeted mask with um, sort of like another hood that looks like it would go across him. Um, he's got these really, really baggy sort of pants um, and sort of armor over the um, over the outfit. So he is, like I say, a really cool looking sort of character. Again, not 100% um, sure um, about the character. Obviously, I've, I've read you that brief bio there on the back of the card. But otherwise, not a lot else to talk about um, Ghostmaker. So I think the only thing to do is go and pop him into the um, into the collection with the other figures um, on the DC stands. So we'll take Ghostmaker, pop him in the collection, and see how he looks with the other figures. So there you can see Ghostmaker added into the um, DC Multiverse collection. As always, I'll just pan out and give you a full sort of look at the collection as it um, stands now. Um, really building into a really cool um, collecting, um, eclectic sort of version of the DC Multiverse. Plenty of different looking characters and um, different genres um, going into the collection. And it is nice sometimes adding these um, unknown characters like I have done with the last two with Batwing and Ghostmaker. Um, so I probably will continue to um, pick up some random um, looking characters. But there you have it as it stands at the moment. As I um, said, we will um, be adding more figures um, sooner rather than later. So, um, and I'll leave you with this Ghostmaker before we go close out the video. So guys, they have Ghostmaker added into the collection. Um, another cool looking figure, like I say. Um, picked up, um, as I said earlier, um, just because it was um, it was cheap in an offer. So um, worth adding to the collection for the price I paid for it. But let me know your thoughts. Do you know any more about Ghostmaker? Can you fill me in a little bit more about him, about anything that he's, um, he's done? Um, or what part of the story he fits in with with Batman? Um, I do love to um, get a little bit more information about these um, Batman characters, so um, well worth um, putting a comment on the video for me. 
Otherwise, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I um, do appreciate every single one of you who does take the time to do so. Otherwise, that'll be it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.